Welcome to Shine Seating and this is the new version called Madurai and this version has seating arrangement, atnan sheet and overall master seating and this seating arrangement has the ability to allocate the students in different blocks so in each block there are different classes or different halls and you can allocate to different blocks so it can accommodate up to 10 blocks of students I like to explain you how this works. First of all, the admin should enter the hall detail. The hall number, I just write it as hall 1, hall 2, hall 3. And for example, I take the first 5 halls. So I take till hall 5. And the block number, you can select the block number. So before selecting, you need to enter the list of blocks here so i enter the blocks as block one block two etc so i am entering here five blocks it's done so now we can enter the block numbers so this hall one is block one and hall two is block two and hall three so I enter the first two halls block one and re remaining three halls as block two so for example I'm showing only this much and I need to enter the number of rows and the number of columns it is only four if you want to increase we can increase if you contact us totally for seven rows and four columns so in four columns totally there will be seven students so this should be entered carefully by the users so based on this you have to design the hall so here I am going to enter the short form of each branch I am going to enter as branch 1 branch 2 I like to show you two branches and one more branches that is branch 3 and this is for PG branch because they need to show the difference for the PG students in the seating hall that's why I'm entering it as the PG branch let's go to the home page name list entry the serial number should not be altered and name and the register number I am entering the name as I like to queue the name as name 1, name 2, name 3 and register number as 1001 and branch branch 1 and you have to enter the year first year I like to enter it as the first year and the section is A, B, C or D and here I enter the section as A that's it I like to drag this down the branch one is over next I like to enter the student's name as which one? And let this be branch 2 and they also belong to the same first year and the section let it be B next is the pre G branch so I enter it as PG SGUD1 let them be PG and the branches is P branch 3 PG and they belong to first year and let them be section C
here there are three branches branch one branch two branch three and branch three is a pg and the students names are pg sgd1 and P register number is pg1 now moving back to the home page there is a hall design here it shows seven rows seven four columns seven rows four columns so there in all those places where you need to see the students you have to enter it as yes so totally four columns i am dragging it till four and seven rows so i am dragging it till seven if you want to stop any students from entering into the particular cell for example the last row the middle two you can just delete it though if you do so then you have to adjust the number of columns you have to enter the number of columns as six in the place of the hull design exactly here so here we have removed one student from the column two and column three you have to enter here six then only it gets tallied and works accordingly likewise you have to do it for all the halls and i like to allocate all the students in the seventh row that's it so if you are ready with these things then you can go directly to the theory seating click theory exam seating enter your college name place exam detail seating plan for which is the exam and the date and here it displays a few things which you should enter first the department that is branch one and they are in first year and the section is a and you are going to decide in which column the branch one should be seated in each hall so i like to allocate them the first column and these students are going to be seated in block one next i'm going to do it for branch two and for branch 2 these students are first year and they are from section B and these students to be seated in column 2 and they are going to be in the same block 1 next is the third branch there is a PG student they are also first year and their section is C which I have entered already and their column will be the fourth column in each hall And they are going to be seated in the first block so all students are in block one and press next now we are entered into the place where you have to select the halls totally we have five halls and totally the strength is 86 it is displayed here the strength is 86 now we are going to select hall by marking it as yes I want hall one so I am marking it as yes and hall 2 is hall 3 is and hall 4 is but we have students in block 1 itself 86 and it is not tallying that's why it is showing select more halls and what I'm doing I need to add more halls to block one go to the home page and click hall design here see if we have entered it as block two block two block two now I am going to change add more halls like hall six and make it as block one and hall seven select block one and hall eight block one now we have a lot of halls so I'm deleting the yes from block two halls I'm not going to select block two next I'm selecting hall six which is the block one and one hall hall seven and still it is not satisfied now we displayed selected halls are sufficient so after selecting the five halls it shows that selected halls are 
sufficient now i can go ahead with the if you have students allocated in block 2 block 3 it will display the details here you have to select the halls accordingly here it is showing missing because we haven't entered the blocks in the hd page now let's press generate you are landed in the seating arrangement we have block one alone so i am pressing block one seating arrangement see i allocated column one for department one branch one column two for branch two and then the fourth column is filled with the pg students see all they have allocated automatically if i want to fill the first column students that is the students of branch one to be seated in the third column i can do that so fill column one students in column three and you have to enter that count one two three totally there are seven rows so i'm entering it as seven so now see the first row the continuity after seven the eight is seated in the column three so this is the very important feature of this template so after 14 the next hall will be continued from 15 if i delete this if i don't want to enter the students to be seated in the third column then the eighth student 1008 will be seated in the next page see this is how it goes so it's a very important feature now to take the printout you can press ctrl p or command p and i show the print preview of this yes hall one hall to two pages are printed in each hall if you have one more branches then you can allocate them in the column three so see here in the this hall there are two students and three students i am going to make them to be seated in the third row in the previous hall let us see how i do that So here there are 5 students extra coming to the next hall. What I am going to do, I am going to allocate those students here itself. So column 1 students in, in column 3 and totally 2 students. Yes, now those 2 students being seated there. Then again column 2 students in column 3 and totally there are I hope 3 students I am going to make them sit in the third column yes now I have adjusted and saved a hall I have made them to be seated in the previous hall now everything is working fine Now let's go to the home page. The second option is the attendance sheet. And I'm selecting it for block one. And all each halls are displayed here. So totally we have three branches in each. And those three branches students. Branch one, second branch and the third PG students. You can press command P or control P and take the print out of it. I'll show you in the preview. So block name is block 1, hall 1 and this is the hall 2 students and this is the hall 3 students, hall 4 and in hall 5 there is no student. We have adjusted all the students inside within these halls. So this is the second option that in sheet. It's all generated within 5 minutes. You can generate a seating for up to 300,500 students. So here in the name list entry I can show you it can accommodate Yes It's a very big sheet it can accommodate till 3500 so if you You can allocate till 3500 in this If you want to increase we can do that you can use it for the universities also by increasing till 5000 or 10000 students you can see them very easily with the help of this sheet 
I'm going to show you the third option that is the overall master seating and it's for block one. Here the students are displayed, here the block is displayed. And the only thing you have to do is you have to enter the range of the students. If the range is default, then it will display the students from 1001 to 1007. If you want to enter the range, that is from if there is any students left in the in between, if there is no student in between, for example, if there is 1001 and after 1001 there is 2, 3 but there is no 4 for example there is no 4 I am deleting the 4 is not in the examination so now there is no continuity of numbers at that moment this helps you in overall master seating in the block 1 now see the students from 1001 to 1003 and again it starts from 1005 to 1008 and therefore here you have to remove that S at the time you should not put this S yes because S means it default numbers that is if the, the number is continuous continuous then you can select default S yes, or else you have to select this one and if you have any other students who are not there in the list you can put the name in others if they don't have the register number I just put their name in the others column and that number will also name will also be displayed in the register number likewise I am doing it and for others I am entering it as yes because all numbers are continuous here in the filter section select no and that's it just press ctrl p or command p you can take the direct printout of this page this page you have details for hall 1, hall 2, hall 6, 7 and here it is showing one more thing because in the beginning you can remember we have selected five halls but we reduced one hall by altering adjusting the students to the previous hall what I'm going to do that I just go there I go to select halls page and I uncheck it as no now let's go to the overall master seating Now that one is disappeared, here it is not displaying, let's see the print preview. Yes, that's it. The recent numbers have come up and in the first hall, we have given the range of student, that's why it is displaying the range and in the rest of the hall it is showing just the from and to numbers, direct numbers. If you have many blocks then you can you need to print it separately for each block because there are separate sheets for block 1 block 2 block 3 and in which block you are allocating the students you have you can make the take the printout happy learning and happy seating with shine sixer